This fucking sick video I did in 2018. You go games under four pounds. You sort by user reviews. You go to the last page, and these, I guess, are the the worst games on Steam. So I played them. The first game I came across was this game called District. You uh, you walk around in a field, and you and you get chased by a bear. I'm not even kidding, every clip of this game on the page, you get chased by a bear and that's it. It, it makes no sense at all. Even this one, you ready? Alright, do you get it? Spooky bear. Like, I don't know what you do in this game other than walk in a field and get attacked by a bear. But apparently I'm not the only one because the reviews seem to say that as well. The next game I came across was, uh, the World Truck Racing, which is clearly gonna be a game of the year every year. I mean, there's two things in this world that I like. It's the world and truck racing. I mean, you, you can't really go wrong with such an amazing combo. There's this other game I came across, and uh, the trailer shows a guy looking at a mountain, and then the guy picks up ammo for like a solid half an hour. And then you embark on your amazing adventure. And then when he crosses the bridge, he gets into combat. Absolute masterpiece. Now, I was actually losing hope on the, this, this kind of idea of just playing shit games, but then I came across this game. This game had everything. It's got AI, and graphics, uh, and guns, cool level design, a story. One year after the plasma nuclear annihilation on Earth, it became clear that there is no rescue in sight and most survivors gave up the last hope. But Elon fight against huge robots and cyborgs cy <laughs> with his robot friend Steel. But Elon don't know how to destroy the cyborgs forever. <laughs> it even has some weird traffic cone thing on top of a building. But for no reason. And from that, I was sold and I fucking bought it. Let's play it. When the game opens up, the, the first thing you get is this weird warning. I mean, it, it, the game sounds terrifying already. Then you get this thing that is like deafening. Now, are you allowed to say that? Come on, dude. Welcome to the world of the club. Absolutely fucking amazing title. 10 out of 10. It was my 21st birthday, I just wanted to eat my cake around 11pm. An oddly specific time to want to eat your cake there, Elon. I had to leave the room through a vent- Throot? A ventilation shaft, because I knew that the alarm could mean something evil happens. Is that a thing people have in their houses? The fucking something evil alarm? Alright, now I actually get to start. Oh, no, now there's a loading screen. And now press the any key. Don't ever do this in a game, please. I'd, I'd expect to press start and then have a loading screen maybe at the most, but why start load screen any key? You, you may as well make me do a million other things while you're at it, dude. I only noticed this when editing the video, but there's no way out of this room at all. There's the ventilation shaft which you're forced to go through because the something evil alarm, but there's no door. What kind of fucking room is this? Why am I just chilling out in my room with a goddamn axe? You don't need an axe to cut your cake, Elon. And then when you climb through the vent, you end up outside and there's this giant dude that dies in like two hits. Amazing. Then I just kind of ran around because there wasn't really anything to do. The only real place you could go was off this edge. And I thought, well, that can't be it. But I tried it anyway and guess what? It wasn't it. So then I thought, alright, maybe I need to not kill the guy and be stealthy. That didn't work, so then I killed him again. And I just ran around, hoping something would happen or to look for another exit. And I, I, I couldn't find one, because there wasn't anything. So then I just killed myself again. Ugh. Fucking game of the year. But this time I thought, alright, I'm gonna kill the dude in two hits because he's a piece of shit. And I just waited. I waited for ages, just to see what would happen. And then eventually this happened. Why? Why am I forced to walk around for fucking 10 minutes and do nothing f waiting f what? But anyway, you get more storyline, which, which is great. About 60 years ago, they already have been on Earth as the result of an experiment to make robots like humans. 
But the experiment failed. They didn't act like humans. They were hostile and aggressive. Oh yeah, dude, because humans aren't hostile and aggressive at all. Not all of them got killed. Some of them were hiding in an old factory and started to clone themselves. Now they're back, ready to take revenge. <laughs> My mission is to stop the robots, even if I don't have any idea how to do that. <laughs> Start loading screen, any key. God damn it. Probably the most explosive start to a game I've ever seen. So this is your uh, your robot friend Steel, and the only good thing you can do is is produce some weird rave music. Yep. And then I ran over, and then this this barrel did some damage to me, I guess. And, and Steel started. Yep. And then I ran over to this doll on the table, and yep start load screen any key so then i started again i took more damage from grass the doll on the table doesn't die to no surprise now credit where credit's due this part actually felt like a game you know just sneaking around and, and and killing guards and stuff do more of that instead you take damage from this sign and then you hop into this sewage pipe and then and then that's the end of the level. Start load screen any key. I noticed here that my, uh, my, my NPC friend wasn't with me, and I guess I had to have him with me. So I looked at the controls, and you press F to use an item, to move an item, and to move your NPC friend. So, so I guess he's just stuck in the first level running on the spot. Forever. In an amazing feat of game design, you have to follow these weird glowies on the floor to, to show you where to go. Because just simple level design wasn't enough. Now because the game started me with a pistol on this level, you'd think it'd be kind of easy, but no, it, it chucks you against a million fucking guys, and then you die. So I had to run all the way back following the weird glowy glowies, and then I realized I have other items. In fact, I'm pretty sure the game gives you every single weapon in the game at the start. Including a minigun, but what I quickly learned is that the minigun, although it sounds good, not actually that good Because you get this dude where for some reason it doesn't matter what you do You can't fucking kill him and then I died again And then at this point I got bored and tried to, to glitch out the game which uh, to my surprise was was very easy You know you wouldn't have thought in a, such a cheap game that breaking it would be really easy But there you go, and then I got to this bit and I realized it's the same bit from the trailer, because you got the sign on the roof! Woo! Start load screen any key. In this level, you're separated from Steel, because I was anyway, because I didn't know I had to tell him to follow me. And now I have to find my way out of this, this sewer system. But the thing is, the way that you get out of it is you go to this massive tunnel of water, which has a cross section at one point, and if you go the wrong way, it takes you to a dead end, and you fucking die. So if you go the right way, you escape with fuck all HP, but why? Why would you make me choose life or death without giving me it? What? And there's random enemies in these tunnels for no reason, and I didn't know how to regain HP, so I just stood here. And that worked. So that works, I suppose. And then you continue through the tunnel, and it's the end of the level. Who'd have thought? Start load screen, any key. Now this, there's a third level in the game, and it introduces health packs. Amazing. This level wasn't really interesting. It, it's literally what you can see now. You just go to the other end, and, and then you go to another pipe, for some reason. Yep. Now this level actually had promise. You know, it started off with an atmosphere, it was all dark, and then I saw these two guards just looking at a wall. But as you continue forward, you get jumped by like all these fucking guards, and I was like, oh god, this is an actual game, this is crazy, until this dude just doesn't die, and men spawn behind you. There's also this thing that stops you going back into the level, so you, you basically are crammed here, pushing enemies around, and I tried to run through it, and I died to nothing. In my third attempt, I figured out the way to kill the enemies is to get them stuck in a wall so they can't come out and then just break them. Now, I tried to look for where to go, and there's this really dark hallway where you can't see shit. Turns out there's an elevator there. 
and I guess I was on top of it or something? Because when the door came through, I had no time to get out. Even when I knew where the door was, I knew that I had limited time. I still couldn't get through the fucking door. So what I did was I just AFK'd for a bit and I just let the game play through. I, I didn't care anymore. And just as I got back, I shit you not, it pushed me through to the actual elevator. <laughs> And then I got to the bottom and that's the end of the level. Amazing. Start, load screen, any key. Now this one was funny because after this load screen, I broke the game, surprisingly. So I had to fucking restart. Thanks game. But I figured out that I was on like the second to last level. So if anything, I did myself a favor. Start, load screen, any key. Now, this level was just amazing. Yep. Immediately greeted by four guards, so I just thought, alright, I'll just use the minigun. Which, surprisingly, was really good this time. I don't know what I did differently, but you basically just run to an end of a hallway and, and kill a bunch of things. The easiest level in the game. Start, load, screen, any key. See? This level actually looked good! It had, like, a skybox, it had distance, but all you do is you climb this ladder! And then you get this! <laughs> Uh, what? So of course I killed him. I don't... I don't even... But no, this game was really good. I suggest going buying it.